My name is Martin Vouška and today I will present the kind of a mixture of scratching and drawing on the white clay board. I use the regular white clay board that you can find in an art store. And what I do is I, I take an ink and since I'm going for the vintage look, so I use the sepia ink. This one is the Bombay ink. And basically, I just blast it all over the all over the clay board. So I'm not gonna show you how I do it. You can do it as, as as you want. You can do it with the brush. You can do it with the paper, with the sponge. You can do it as basically just to create any kind of uh, kind of background you want. But what I do is I I start with diluted ink and I try to create as many layers as possible. So I let it dry and then. Uh, I uh, repainted and repainted and repainted and the reason why this is when you scratch it it, do, it doesn't go all the way to white but it still has that sepia, sepia look underneath so that is why I, that is why I use uh, as, many, as many layers as possible but once it's done I transfer the image you can either you know, freehand to transfer it as, as you want draw it uh, directly on top of it and then I use just these Three tools. I have two pencils, one is B, one is 2B, and the fiberglass brush, which is the you know the regular thin one, which is suitable for this type of work. And obviously I have the photograph, I usually work from the vintage photograph, so it doesn't give you much of a clues where the highlights are. But for this type of drawing or scratching, it's perfect because I start with light and then trying to blend it in the environment in the in the background so I don't really need I don't really go for any photorealistic look so I don't need so many highlights and I just basically start scratching away. So I, I don't keep any pattern so I go kind of all over the wall. I started with the hair already here. Uh, I can do the eye, the second eye, just trying to Hey Martin, can you hold up on this? Just to set my hand out, it's just because my hand sweats a lot, so I don't want to get any oil on the on the actual board. So and I just start scratching away, so let's let's do the eye. I do the whites. Martin, you don't have any sort of drawing like laid out really. No, it's already really laid out here. Okay. So I have the layout on top of it. With, pen, with oh. pencil, you said? Yeah, with the pencil. And, and basically the background I use as basically the blacks or the darkest part. And I don't actually follow any kind of pattern. I usually cross edge just what I what suits me most. I'm trying to see. Now, for instance, right now the eyelashes I don't, I'll do last. So I scratch underneath it and then I basically draw in the, the eyelashes. Now, this process is actually quite lengthy because the, the ink doesn't scratch as well as when you use the, the regular blackboard. So you kind of have to be patient. And I, I, don't, I use very light touch because I don't want to really do. Uh, you know, go all the, all the way to the white, so I have to do it quite some time before I get some, some kind of a scratching in it. So it's, a, it's quite a lengthy process. That's why even though I said I'd like to do a series of those, I don't have the patience for that. Martin, can you move your left shoulder twist? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Hold that pose. <laughs> So as you see, right, uh, I, was, I was going down like that, but uh, I don't have to really follow any, any pattern, so I just cross the edge or make kind of an X to create the highlights. And the, the actual eyebrow, I just leave as a background, I mean, just put a little highlight there, but I'll see at the, you know, at the end of how it looks. Now, this might be a dumb question, but 
Uh -huh. <laughs> um, do you have the full underdrawing underneath it? So you're, are you exposing the underdrawing, or are you, are you making? Like, I have the outline, so I know where you know the nose ends, where it starts. I know the, the eye. Uh, I have the you know the the content of the of the hair and so forth. You know the chin, the jaw, and so forth. So I just basically scratch in between. But ultimately, I will scratch out the outline so you won't see any you know, lines around it. So it kind of will blend in the in the environment. Now the reason why I use the The reason why I use the pencils to knock it back down is it gives it a little different color. Obviously, I can use diluted ink, but I like the I like the pencil. It just gives it a little little different color. It kind of goes to bluish, and it's easy to take. You know, if I don't like it, I just scratch it back. Have you tried water soluble graphite? No. No, I just use these these two pencils. That's 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 all basically. As you see, I mean, I'm, I'm usually all over the board. I don't. That's why I like to work, you know, so upright like that. I don't I really follow any. Nothing is really finished immediately, so I don't really move. I don't do the one section move to the other. I kind of do the whole thing and see how it looks, and I can adjust and see what needs to be adjusting. You say you generally work with your boards upright. If it's a clay board, if it's a white board, yes. If I do scratching, scratching the black board, then no, I like to work horizontally. But with these type of boards, I always like to work upright. Because to me, it's more, it's still more of a drawing than, than, than scratching. Because I really, as you can see, I really do cross hatching. And it's it's a fiberglass brush as well, so I don't know that. It's not a really fine fine work and because it's a clay board it, it, and it's it, it's a white board. You can make you know a lot of mistakes and you just you know repair it immediately. Yes, recently yes. I uh, I didn't do many blackboards. I just like the the, the the flexibility of the whiteboard, and you know I like to draw, I like to paint, so that's why I that's my my preference right now. Where do you get your reference photos? You seem to do a lot of historical type images. Yeah, from various sites. Uh, the the best that I found is. It's on the DeviantArt, and they have a, a large, large stock photos. A lot of people posting, you know, vintage photos there, and they're free since they're stock. Most of them are free. Most of them will let you use it without, you know, permission. You can kind of do basically anything you do, you want to do with them, as long as you show them either the work or sometimes you can just credit them. That's all. So that's where I get all my references. But as I said, they are in the bath, you can't really do any detailed work because first of all that I know from 40s, 50s, you know, 60s, so the quality is, is, is really bad. But for this type of drawing, or even for scratching, if you don't want to do the fine detail, it's it's perfect. And also let you let you do your own thing. <laughs> 